What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with UTH, also known as Ultimate Tech Hub. Today I'm gonna to show you how to fix the PS5 system file corruption error for good. I've had hundreds of viewers and subscribers DM me, text me, email me, leave questions in the comments, all about the same thing. How do I fix the system file corruption error on the PS5? And it's amazing how many people have the same problem. I'm guessing those who have this same issue number in the tens of thousands. So this video right here should help all of you. And because of you guys, the viewers and subscribers, I did a lot of research to try to figure this out. So the first thing I wanna talk about is why we're getting the file corruption error. In order to fix this problem, we need to know what's happening, what's causing the issue. When we're downloading a system file update and it goes to install and we get the corruption file error, well, what's happening? You're probably thinking the file you're downloading has an error on it, but that's not the case. Sony would not put out a file update with an error on it. That just wouldn't happen. The error is not occurring from the file update, the error is occurring when you're downloading it. So your network is causing the error, not the file itself. And over the last four or five months, I've done a lot of research on this, and I'm 100% certain that the file corruption error is caused by a network error, not the file itself. Now, what do I mean by network error? When you're downloading the system file from the internet, you're downloading packets. And if your network is not stable, then your unstable network can cause this file corruption error. So remember, it's not the file itself. It's actually the process of downloading the file that corrupts the file. So how do you fix this? The only way to fix this for sure and to avoid the file corruption error forever is to update via USB drive. And the reason why this works 100% of the time is that when you download this from the website to your USB stick, you're gonna avoid the network errors. In the last three system file updates, I've updated via USB drive. No file corruption errors and no problems. And to get this done is very simple. All you need is a USB drive with about three gigs of space. There can be no files on this and you also wanna format this. FAT32. Next thing you want to do is go to a search engine and type in PS5 update file. And you can see right here, we have it right here on our screen. It tells you how to do everything, the features. Go to PS5 update file. It's right here and we're going to hit save. And that's it. The next thing you want to do with a USB stick is create a folder called PS5, all in capital letters. Within that folder, you want another folder called update, all capital letters. Then within the update file, put the system update file inside it. It should be a pup file, .pup. After you've done that, then plug this USB stick to any USB port on your PS5. And just a heads up, you'll have to unplug any USB devices that are connected to your PS5. The only thing you want to have connected is the USB stick for your update file. Next thing you want to do is go to system update, then update via USB drive. Hit OK and follow the instructions. And this also works in safe mode as well. It's the exact same process. And my recommendation is always update via USB stick and make this USB stick your dedicated update drive. After your PS5 is updated, you can go back in here and erase the update file. And when that new update comes out, go ahead and download it, put it on the USB drive, put it in the PS5 and update it. No file corruption error. And just a heads up, I've done this three times in a row with the last three updates and no file corruption error. So I do believe this is the perfect and safest way to update your system files on your PS5. So quit updating your system via internet and use the USB drive. It works every time. Guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to give a thumbs up and share this video and hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.